everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Marketing Cloud and the email form survey. So we will create together an email form that will allow you um, to send like survey directly from the email client. So people can fill out the survey directly uh, from the email that they receive from you. So they don't even need to click on the link and to be redirected to a landing page. So as you can see, I've created an email template that was empty. And here I've uh, drag and drop the email form widget. Here I will put a subject line. So your feedback matters and a preheader. Uh, fill out the form now, okay? Then what I will do is I will create a cloud page and this cloud page will contain a specific landing page type, which is uh, for survey. So now it's loading. I will, just, uh, I will just create a collection and then a landing page. Okay, so we have a collection. So email survey journey. So in the future, we will create a journey based on that. Uh, but for now, we are just building the email template. Here I create a landing page that is an interactive email page. I give it the same name. And um, and then here, I will come back. I just have one thing to do. It's just I need to put the destination page, basically. So here I will say, um, redirect to a URL. OK. And here I will say, uh, sky.com.io. OK. Tac. Of sky. Tac. Done editing. I click Save. And then once I click Save, I will come to click Schedule and Publish. OK. So. I click publish, perfect. Now this page is published, and I should be able to um, I should be able to come to select it in here. So here I have email survey journey and email survey journey. Okay, that seems to be correct. Now I will create a data extension. So I have two possibilities. I have the first possibility is that the data extension will be automatically created, but usually I prefer to create mine manually in order to um, in order to have more control on what we create. So I will come click data extension here, and then I will create a new folder, I guess. Okay. Uh, email survey journey. And I click save. Okay. Now I create a data extension, email survey journey. And I will put it here, sendable, testable, next. And here I will put the attributes. So I will have a subscriber key. Uh, that will be my primary key. Oh, no, I don't need primary key actually. I will have the email. I will have the date. I will have a Boolean. Uh, that I will say default value one, email will be email, date will be date. And then I will have question one, tac, question two, question three, question four, question five, five questions I will put. Okay, now I will put 4,000, so 4,000 characters. So I want people to be able, because this is where I store their answer. So I want to make sure people can have enough space to fill out what they want to fill out. So I click done editing. And then here I select data extension and email survey journey. Okay, so I have everything that I need. Now what I will do is I will create some hidden field. So here it's pretty straightforward. Subscriber key will go into subscriber key. Uh, email will be email address. Um, what else? Send timestamp will be the date. And that's pretty much it. And now that we have the form, we will. Um, we will have a few questions and uh, we will create that together. So I will come to say an image single choice and I will say, um, I will uh, I will like receive the data in the question one. And as a question, I will say, how would you rate our services? I will put this as a field required. And here I will come to upload uh, some uh, question. So I will, I will come here to uh, tell you this time we will do it a bit differently. I will do it in an easiest way. So I will just say text. Uh, is there any feedback you would like to provide? And this is, will be my question one. Required field, it will be a paragraph. Then I will say rating. Uh, so it will be my question two. And then uh, oh, would you like to rate us? Uh, required field as well, add an option. Field value one. Option level one. No, I will just put one here. Then add option two. Tag. And we will put five of them. Four. And two, four, five. Okay, five. Okay. Here I have the stars. And um, we often use um, either the radio button or anything else. But I will keep it simple like this. And basically, now I will just add a bit of design. So I will pause this video in order to upload uh, some nice content, like graphic. Okay, so I've just added a bit of 
like image and background color just to see it differently. Um, and now what I will do is I will send a test to my email address. Tac. Oh, uh, I will have to just remove like the footer. So let's do it. So I will go into um, setup and then I will just remove the, the, the footer. As you can see, I'm in setup. I can just uh, remove everything that checks, like the unsubscribe link and all of that, the physical email address. Otherwise, it triggers an error. And I can also go, I think it's in company setting, account setting. This is where I will be able to uh, to, uh, to just like turn off like the, yeah, here. So I will just be able to remove all the footer and all of that, all the things that are already out of the box. So I will just put none everywhere, tack, and save it. And now, once I save it, I will be able to go into uh, Content Builder, save. I might have to reopen it, so I will save and exit. And then I click Email Survey, I click Edit, Edit Content, Preview and Test, and here I will click Send Test. Mm -mm. I'm not sure why it still triggers this error because we did it correctly. Uh, okay, I will just pause that. Okay, so here as you can see, I've created like a, a very basic like test that extension, and now. <clears throat> Here, I will come click uh, Save and Send. And here, I will just say Next Data Extension Email Survey Journey. Here, I have my test. And here, I will click Next, next Send Immediately. This information is correct. And here, click Send. OK, so I will pause the video. And as soon as I receive the email, I will share it again. Here is just an example. But as you can see now, I can I just received an email that say Your feedback matters. Uh, here, I can fill out it was great. And here, I can put a five star, for example, or just one. Usually, we use the image with smiley or emoji, just like to not have this um, this range of uh, five star, four star, three star. We just put one smiley happy and one smiley sad. But for the video, I just put the star. And here, I will click Submit. OK. And now, as you can see, I land on the, on the um, Sky website. And if I check my data extension, that is email survey journey, I should get one record where I get all the information uh, collected. So as you can see, I have the email address, the subscriber key, the date. Um, it was great as a feedback and five star for five star. So, and I can still add other questions with the field that are here. And I can also synchronize this question to Sales Cloud in order to receive the re reply next to my contact or to my lead into the CRM. But this is something that we will see in the future. Um, so thank you for watching this video. And if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you.